everybody how's it going i'm going to be showing you the top 12 longest lasting fragrances in my entire collection now this isn't going to be in a particular order because some of them are too close to call but all of them perform over 12 hours and i will be making the differentiation between the ones that perform easily over 12 and the ones that perform easily over a day all right now we're going to start with the only designer fragrance on this list and it's tobacco Knee by tom ford this scent gives me an easy 12 hours and it's just a really sweet gingerbread cookie chai tea latte sort of fragrance really cozy really comforting now i'll put all the names of the fragrances and the discount site links in the description so everybody can just get them at a discounted rate because paying full retail on these bottles is just not the move so please like save yourself some money all right but tobacco vanille amazing fragrance i get non-stop compliments with this one great wintertime scent the next one is naxos by sershoff this is a honey tobacco fragrance on my skin 14 hours no problem all right on top of that if you want to smell like a mafia boss give this one a try if that's the vibe you're going for please smell this fragrance because it's rebellious and smooth at the same time there's not a lot of fragrances that do that that have that badass element but then they also have that really just suave type of smell to them you know and this one is a perfect balance so naxos by serge off completely unisex fragrance tobacco benin also very unisex all right another one i'm going to mention of course oud satin mood by i was gonna say serge off no by maison francis kirk john this is a fragrance that will perform over a day no problem i have the sample that was sent to me and the sample wasn't even all the way full i you can't see it because the name is around it but the juice is like right down to here and i know it's gonna last me years because this thing is way too intense for me but if you're somebody that loves the really high performing type of scents you want to be loud you want to be obnoxious with that smell give this one a shot unfortunately for me unfortunately for me the scent i'm not too drawn to it kind of smells a bit a little bit like like blueberries to me not fresh blueberries but you know when you put them in a pan and you're just kind of like when people make them for desserts that's kind of what it smells like to me a little bit yeah yeah not my personal favorite but i can't deny that this juice is super long lasting all right number four well like i said this is in no order in particular but Leighton by Parfums de Marly, 14 hour fragrance on me. It's an apple, vanilla, cardamom scent. And the other one I don't have in my collection right now, but I will throw in Carlisle by Parfums de Marly. That one goes about 15, 16 hours on my skin. Doesn't go away. It never leaves me. And I love that fragrance. It smells like this medicinal tart apple in the opening with a Middle Eastern twist. And then it dries down with a smoky sort of scent don't worry it's not incensey or anything like that but it's just like think of think of hades you know it, it gives off that sort of vibe so like i said with naxos how it has that badass smooth type of thing i would say the same for for carlisle except carlisle is more mysterious you know it's that mysterious alluring sort of smell but still badass still charming at the same time Another fragrance I'm going to throw into the mix is Lamar by Kajal Perfumes. This is probably one of my favorite gourmand fragrances. This and Angel Share are pretty much the only two gourmands that I really suggest for good smelling gourmand scents. The other ones that I've tried have just kind of fallen flat. But this is a sweet pineapple fragrance. Very unisex. It leans slightly feminine. But I think, honestly, if you like fruity scents, please give this one a try. Compliments galore. It lasts forever. This one, 14 hours on skin. And, like, my girlfriend actually bought a bottle of this one. And she sprayed, I think, one spray on her sweater. It's been about four days. And that thing is still pushing like no tomorrow. So, Lamar Kajal Perfumes for all the sweet pineapple lovers. Next is another fragrance that lasts over 24 hours. I would even put this in if you do three to five sprays of this you will be pushing for like three days no problem okay because like i've said in my previous videos i did one and a half sprays of this 
not even on clothes, just on a random part of my arm. It was literally in this exact spot, right on my forearm, not on a pulse point. And I was getting complimented for two days straight and it was filling up every single room that I was in. So this is some serious stuff. I would put it with Oud Satin Mood like these two. <sighs> no problem with longevity whatsoever. The scent trail, if you're looking for an aggressive, dominant scent, the, you cannot go wrong with either of these. But Rasala smells like rose, saffron, and oud the whole entire time. So please know that if you're going to get the scent, you have to love those type of notes. Yes, it has chocolate and vanilla, but those things are like, they play second fiddle to the three main notes that I mentioned in literally a couple seconds ago. But Rasala, badass fragrance right here. You want to smell different, you want to smell unique, you want to smell, you want to wear something that nobody else around you will wear, and it's guaranteed, it's going to be Rasala. I doubt that when you're wearing Rasala, you will be in the same room as somebody else wearing Rasala, unless you're maybe at a fragrance convention, sure. But other than that, not I honestly doubt there'd ever be a chance anybody else around you is wearing the scent right here. So this one, on my skin, if I had to give it a full wear, I mean it when I say three days, that even when I would shower, I'd pro I would still smell this, I guarantee it. So Rasala by Arabian Oud. Next is a fresh fragrance, Hachiva by Nishane. And this is a fresh pineapple scent that dries down with oak moss. Now, oh man, this one, the reason why this, or this thing changed the game for me in terms of fresh fragrances. And I'm, I'll mention another freshie that is a banger as well, but this one outperforms that freshie. This scent, I remember that I wore the first, I think, I don't remember what time it was when I wore this or maybe it was like my third time. I can't remember, but I threw on this fragrance at around 10 in the morning, right? And then the next day at 11 in the morning, I got complimented on the scent. Somebody thought I just sprayed it on. It's been like 25 hours and it was still pushing. Even after I showered, I still smelled it on myself a bit, but nonetheless, it was going off. So if you live in a tropical climate and you want something that's still gonna be that's still gonna project, still be really strong, but it's gonna fit the weather that you live in, please look into this one, give it a shot. It's a unisex fragrance, but to me, it leans a little bit more masculine, all right? But still, it's amazing, amazing. Really intense sort of scent. Next is Side Effect by Enicio. This is a fragrance that lasts around on me, I get like 13, 14 hours with this fragrance, but the reason I was kind of slow with answering that is because I mainly spray this on clothes. So I had to rethink how long it lasts for me on my skin. But yeah, about 13-ish hours, this is still nicely there. Now it doesn't fill the room like the other ones do um, in terms of just like really reaching out, but it stays, it has a good enough projection, but it really does stay heavy in your scent bubble. This thing does not go away. It's really hard to get nose blind to this scent because it makes its presence known everywhere you go, all right? But this is a boozy fragrance. If you like cinnamon and you like rum, I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. Another straight up unisex fragrance, doesn't matter who wears it. This juice is really, really strong, all right? Okay, we got move you to the side. I don't know what number we're on, but I have to throw this one in here. Alexandria 2. Now, this video, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, is not a subjective video of the fragrances I like to wear. These are just scents that are the longest lasting, and I actually don't really like this fragrance. The scent, not my vibe at all, but the performance, close to a day. This is not a joke when it comes to longevity. This fragrance will really, really, really last. It will not come off of you, okay? So this one, smell it right now. Mm, yeah. Definitely a lot better in the air, as are pretty much all Oud fragrances. They perform better in the air. They're not meant to be smelled up close. But still, for me, not a fan of the smell on this one. But if you like Oud and you like a clean woody sort of smell that's still heavy like wear it at nighttime 
then I think you're gonna like Alexandria too. I think the people that have an appreciation for this are fragrance enthusiasts. If you're new to the fragrance game, then work yourself up to being able to wear a scent like this because this one really is bold and it's unique and it's really, really loud. So Alexandria too. And almost done here. I think we got, after this, it's, well, I only have one more. It's a drop of a by Mansara. This is the one I was comparing with um, Hachivat. And this one outperforms it. Like I said, this one lasts over a day. And on me, I get like 13, 14 hours with Cedrat Bose. It's insane. Now I know the tricky thing with this fragrance is that apparently it got reformulated, which is why there's a Cedrat Bose Intense. But this juice right here, seriously, is just, to me, I find it very heavenly. Like this is a fresh pineapple sort of scent, and it actually has, there's more fruits in it as well. I don't just get pineapple, I get like kind of like when you walk into Jamba Juice, you know that smell? That is what this smells like in the opening to me. And then it dries down with a woody kind of base. And I really like that. I like the fruitiness. I like the woodiness of this fragrance. And oh gosh, this one. I Every single time I wear this, I'll wear it for the next three days straight because I just fall back in love with it. It's one of those scents that I won't reach for for a while. And then I'll come back to it and be like, oh my God, why am I not wearing this? So yeah, I love this thing so much. Mm. 13 hours, no problem. A great signature scent, a great versatile scent. Um, again, if you live in warm weather and you want a powerful fragrance that's going to last, but is not going to get annoyingly sweet or too much for you know the hot climate, then give a drop with a chance. All right, this one... Um, in the air, amazing. The scent trail, amazing. All the compliments I believe I got were scent trail sort of compliments. Not when people were hugging me, but when they smelled it on me when I was walking by them or when they were walking by me. They were like, oh, you smell really good. So this one really is a head turner. And lastly, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised by this, but Baccarat Rouge 540. I haven't tried the x straight version of it, but even just the EDP really long lasting. Now, some people say that they don't get performance with Baccarat Rouge. Um, for me, like at least with, with this bottle here, like, I don't know how this thing is. Maybe people go nose blind to it, but this scent, 12 hours, no problem. 12 hours, no problem with like a couple sprays. Like I know my sister did one spray of this on her clothes, like on her back, and I smelled it on her almost the whole entire day. So, but with skin, you know, it doesn't last as long as clothes. But when I tested it, 12 hours, not even a problem. It projects, it has a nice scent trail. Um, longevity is great. And this is for people that like that sweet cotton candy sort of smell. It's a very cotton candy-ish fragrance. And this one is also unisex, lean, slightly feminine, but a guy can easily pull this fragrance off. It's very seductive. It's a huge head turner. And in fact, what I've noticed is the guys that wear this get a lot of compliments from women because they're like, oh, wow, I didn't expect you to wear that, but it still works effortlessly well. Like this is just one of those scents that is very mass appealing. And I know that it's gotten common to a point where people call it basic. It's the most popular niche fragrance on the market, but still there's a reason why it's at the top. And that's because the mass appeal is there. The performance is there. The DNA is something special. But now that it's been cloned over and over again, you know, people are finding more dupes, which is fine as well. But I mean, you can't hate on the blueprint. But anyways, there it is, the top 12 longest lasting fragrances in my entire collection. Again, all the discount site links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.